And it's really, really awesome. So remember, I love to see the hearts and... Hey everyone, I'm Kino and thanks for joining on this yoga practice. We're going to look at the yoga challenge video today, which is Mariachasana A. And this is a really great practice, even if you're not joining the yoga challenge, just a really good way to tune into the technique of how to get into this pose, and how to really work on the shoulders and the hips. It's probably one of my favorite yoga postures in the whole practice because it really helps you tune into the inner body. It helps you empty out the inner space of the pelvis. It'll increase your hip flexion and it'll bring you into kind of a deeper awareness of your body when you begin the practice. So sometimes what happens when you feel the hips and you feel the inner body is that sometimes some emotions kind of bubble up to the surface. Remember, some emotions bubble up to the surface at any time during your yoga practice. It's completely fine and it's actually part of the reason why we practice. We're trying to trigger um, sort of an inner awakening and sometimes a release of deeply held emotions is, uh, you know, a, a necessary component of working the inner body. So if that happens, don't try to push those emotions away. Just be brave and remain equanimous. Trust that what's arising needs to arise and let it come and let it go. In order to initiate our space together, you're gonna gently place the hands and then inhale, exhale. <sighs> Tuning into the inner body for a moment. Let your hands gently drop down, sucking the belly in, close the eyes. With a deep inhalation, resonating the breath, saying the sound sa as you inhale, ha as you exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping the mind rooted on the breath. Come on to the hands and knees. Popping over to the hands and knees. And remaining on the hands and knees for a moment with the deep inhalation. Hollow out the low belly. And gently curl the toes under and exhale, downward facing. All right, so now we're in downward facing, sucking the belly in. Pause for a moment and hollow out the low belly. One, make sure you get a good stance in downward facing dog. Two, three, four, and five. Walk the feet gently forward and we're gonna work with a forward bend. So inhale, lift the chest away and exhale, gently fold. Stay here for two breaths. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Gently come all the way up, letting your hands rest by your side. And now we're going to go for one Surya Namaskar A, so the one of the first of the sun salutations. Inhale, raise the hands above the head, reach nice and high. Exhale, suck in the belly as you fold forward, moving down. Inhale, lift the chest forward. And exhale, let's step back to the plank pose. Well, to hold the plank for a moment, just to wake up the core and wake up the shoulders. So hold that plank, really suck the belly in. And then exhale, let's go down, chaturanga. Taking it easy today, chest down. Inhale, lift the chest a little bit. And if you can, come all the way up to the upward facing. And exhale, roll over the toes and downward facing. Today my hair likes to get caught in the microphone. So here we go. Staying in downward facing for a couple of breaths. The microphone that's attached to my ear just came off, so we're gonna have to put it back on. 
make sure we can all hear when we get to practice later. You guys still there? How's it going, everyone? So we'll get back to downward facing. And again, a couple breaths in downward facing. One. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Two. Three. Four. And five. Switch your gaze forward. Inhale, walk the feet forward. Lift your chest forward. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, belly sucks in. Arms raise all the way above your head. Exhale, back to standing. And exhale, back to standing. Now, keeping the belly drawn in, I want you to take a step out to the right. We're going to work on a wide leg forward bend. So... Suck the belly nicely in and exhale, pivot forward. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, pivot down, aiming the top of the head towards the ground. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale. Inhale, come all the way up, placing the hands on the waist, and exhale. Now we're going to work with Prasarita Padottanasana C, which will help open the shoulders. Inhale, roll the shoulders out, so really reach your arms out to the side. Exhale, interlock the fingers behind the back. Inhale, lift the chest, pivot forward from the waist into the hip joints, and then down. Reach the top of the head towards the ground, tilt it under, then lean forward until your shoulders reach towards the ground, widening your stance if you want to. Now don't white knuckle it, don't hold on too tight, just hold on tight enough and then let gravity do the work so you release the shoulders towards the ground. We'll stay here for a couple breaths and tune into the shoulders and don't fight. If everything feels good, you're gonna lift your shoulders up, internally rotating the shoulders, bending the elbows to flip the hands out. And don't try to get your hands down to the ground in the same direction, the same depth. Just focus on rolling the shoulders internally, spreading the scapulas. One. We'll just stay for three. This should feel dramatically more difficult. Two and three. Inhale, let's come all the way up. And exhale, hold the waist. Inhale, sucking the belly in. Let's orient back to the front of the mat. Samastitihi. Now we're going to move the hands behind the back. So the first thing I want you to do is to hold on to the elbows like this. If everything's good when you hold the elbows, try placing the hands together this way. If everything's completely good, aim the fingertips towards each other and glide your hands up your back. You should have um, a less obstacle-ridden back than I do. I'll just move that microphone a little to the side. And now we have ourselves in the reverse prayer position. And you want to avoid arching the back too much. Suck the belly in. Step out to the right side. And then you're going to align your sternum with the right knee, keeping the belly drawn in. Everything in. And then exhale, fold forward and down, keeping the belly sucked in. And there's a tendency to kind of keep your weight in the back foot. We want to evenly distribute so that your weight travels through both legs. Two, and this is again this internal rotation of the shoulders. Keep the belly sucked in. Three, four, and five. Inhale, let's come on up. Turn around. We're going to face towards the front. Again, suck the belly deeply in. Exhale, fold forward, moving down. One. And there's a tendency, and I've got it happening right now, to pooch the belly out. So suck the belly in, and you'll get dramatically more space. Two. Remember, push weight into the forward leg. Three, four, and five. Inhale. Let's come all the way up and release your hands, and let's come on back to the front of the mat. Okay. From here, you're going to take your feet a little bit wider than hips width apart. All right, so just settle down to a little wider than hips width apart, and then bend your elbows down, and we're going to come to a squatting position. Okay? In the squatting position, I want you to think about your hips dropping down. And as the hips drop down, I'll show you from the front too. So now as your hips drop down, you're going to round under, and we'll stay here. Hands in prayer for five breaths. One. Keeping the belly nice and sucked in. Two, three, 
four, and now we're gonna practice internally rotating the shoulders so that you can understand how to work towards getting the bind in this Marichasana A position that we're working up towards. So settling down into the hips, we're gonna start off on the right side, so you're gonna drop that right shoulder forward, wrapping it around the elbow, left shoulder reaches up, reach the hands towards each other, and we're gonna gently look over to the left. One, don't try to hit it too hard here, but just nice and easy. Three, four, and back to the center. Hold the hands in prayer for a moment. Roll the left shoulder forward and down so you really get that internal rotation. Then sucking the belly in, reach around the back and don't hit it too hard. Just nice and easy. Let's look over the right shoulder. One, keep space and elongation through the neck and it feels like you're pulling your chest away from the hips. Three, four, and five. Come on back, hands in prayer. Hold it for a moment, suck the belly in, feel the hips, feel the placement of your body in space, and then exhale, let's step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come on forward to upward facing. Exhale, push it back to downward facing. Now, step forward, right foot on the left foot, and we'll start off with Dandasana position. So, keeping your belly drawn in, flex the feet, hands next to the hips, Chin down, five breaths, one, two, three, four, and five. Wrap your fingers around your big toes. Inhale, suck the belly in. Exhale, fold forward, one. Keep the belly drawn in. Rest the crown of the head. Point the crown of the head towards the toes, if possible, resting your forehead. Three, four, and five. Inhale, lift your chest. We're gonna take it a little deeper, so really make the space in the low belly. Reach around, nice deep breath. Exhale, fold. One, two, Three, four, and five. Inhale, straighten the arms, exhale. Slowly pull it back. Mm. <laughs> Slowly pull it back and let's step back to Chaturanga, okay? Just nice and easy, here we go. Step, step, inhale, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Look forward, step the right foot, left foot. Come on through. I think we're ready for Marichasana A. So starting off in Dandasana position, hold it for a moment. Suck in the belly, then bend the right knee up. After you bend the right knee up, you're gonna drop your body away. Roll the right shoulder forward and get that forward direction established. Now the trick is, your knee wants to pop out to the side, so then you wanna drop the knee into the chest. and roll the right shoulder forward and down. Try to get the armpit down, so you wrap it around. Then squeeze the shin into the armpit, bend the right shoulder forward, then reaching the hands together in the back. It's hard for you to get the bind in the back, no problem. You can grab a towel and reach the hands around in the back. Now to move into the posture, we have two different directions. First, suck the belly in and then fold forward. Right? So you wanna suck the belly in and then fold forward. Now what happens when you fold forward is sometimes the knee comes with you. So after the knee comes with you, pull the knee back and let there be an even distribution of weight between the right and left side of the body. Settle into the posture, suck the belly in, nice deep breaths. Two, three, four, and five. Inhale, gently come up, and now you can let that sitting bone return to the ground, roll the shoulder forward, and to make sure that we activate as well as elongate, I'm gonna add in a little bit of a strength movement here, so you're gonna wrap that calf muscle onto your shoulder, reach forward with the shoulders, and try to lift the hips up off the ground. Just hold it for one, 
and two. Let's settle that down. Bring your foot underneath and let's step back all the way. Here we go. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Come on forward and we're gonna do the other side, all right? So when we do the other side, how you guys doing? You doing all right? How's it going over there? Everything good? Ready for the other side, all right? So remember, if you're watching and joining, just focus on the breath, let a nice even pace come on, don't rush the process. We're gonna do the left side. So bend the left knee, and now when you come forward, your left sitting bone's gonna come off the ground, it's totally acceptable. Don't try to keep it down. Lean your sternum forward to the right knee and slowly start to drop your chest. As your chest drops, the left knee wants to come out to the side, but pull it in. Then drop the left shoulder forward and around, aiming the shin into the armpit. Your your left hand reaches back, then the right hand rolls forward, taking the hands behind the back. Suck the belly in, and exhale, fold. And as you go down, pull back with the left hip, two. Deep, steady breathing. You're working two different directions in the body. Your chest reaches forward, and the hip moves back. Three, four, and five, inhale, lift the chest forward, exhale. Now, we're gonna try that same strength move. So, take the calf muscle, place it onto the shoulder, hold it up there for a moment, and now inhale, press and lift, one and two. Now, just come on down, wrap that right foot underneath, and let's just, nice and easy, step back, inhale, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, Downward facing. Okay, to release the front of the hip, you're gonna step the left foot forward, planting the right knee down, and we're gonna work with the lizard lunge. So nice and easy, just come gently down until you feel that front of the right hip reaching towards the ground. And we'll hang out here for a moment. Take your left arm up if possible. We'll stay for one, two, and you can make it a little bit active. Three, four, and back to the center to fully release the hip. Easy Anjaniyasana. Hands above the head. One, maintain your balance. Two, three, four, and five. Take the hands down. Step back, inhale, and exhale. Let's go down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing, exhale. Downward facing. All right, let's do the other side. Step the right knee forward, planting that left one down. So you're gonna almost twist it over. And as you twist it over, just look to the back. If you're comfortable, we're gonna raise the arm. One, two, and if it feels all right, you're gonna lift that knee off the ground. Three, four, and back to the center. Planting the knee down, arms up. One, two, three, four, and five. Hands down, inhale, and exhale. Let's step back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, and downward facing. Now nice and easy, step forward, child's pose. Bend the knees, hands back, and exhale. Open the knees and release the torso down through the center. One, two, and three. Inhale, gently come back up, cross the feet underneath you. Come to a comfortable seated position, keeping the belly sucked in. Nice and easy now, take the hands, holding the elbows behind your back. And maybe if possible, you can interlock the fingers again. Reach forward with the front of the chest, planting your hands on the ground for a moment. Then gently come up, return your grip to the elbows, and gently exhale, folding forward. And we'll just stay for a couple breaths, placing the forehead down. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, come on back up. Nice deep breath in. 
and inhale come on back up aim your first two fingers together stretch out the arms chin down one suck the belly deeply in two three four and five now to calm the mind you're going to bring your fingers like this so the index bring the middle finger in from your thumb and the ring finger and the little finger out and inhale through the right exhale through the left inhale right exhale left inhale right exhale left I think we got one more inhale right exhale left now to the other side inhale left exhale right inhale left exhale right inhale left exhale right one breath in through both nostrils exhale last one inhale exhale last one inhale exhale bend the knees and we're gonna lie down so slowly lie down close your eyes for a moment and just let the body come to a state of rest just feel the inner body scan through the body feeling what you feel tuning in Allow yourself a few moments of calm, a few moments of internal awareness. Let your mind come to rest. And then with a the conscious inhalation, bend the knees and the elbows. Come on in. Take a moment and just thank yourself for the practice. Pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. Rolling over onto the right side. Rolling over onto the right side for a moment. Come on back up. And now, return to a comfortable seated position. And let's just take a moment and tune into the inner body. Tune into the heart space and just listen. Listen for that quiet voice of wisdom that speaks to you from the heart. Listen to the, the inner body. Pause, reflect. See yourself through the eyes of spirit. See yourself whole and complete. Planting deeply in your heart the seeds of peace and happiness. The seeds of love and true joy. Move your hands gently together, offering a simple prayer. May I be happy. May I be filled with love. May I be peaceful. May all beings throughout time and space be happy, be free from suffering, be peaceful. May all beings throughout time and space experience real love. Thanks so much for joining me on the Inner Tradition of Yoga. Namaste.